<clears throat> Welcome to the vlog! Vlog 21! I'm Willie. All right, guys, preparing a nice little brisket flat here for maybe tomorrow night's dinner or just to have whatever we want. I'm going to trim just a little bit of the fat cap on the bottom. It's a little thick. I'm going to clean some of this ugly fat off here, maybe trim some of this that will just burn up. And then I'm going to put on a couple seasonings, and we're going to get this thing marinated, and we're also going to put some injections in it. So, yeah. A nice consistent quarter inch of fat would be good in this situation, so that's what I'm going to do. Kind of mimic what I have on this side. Little pieces of uh, aged or oxidized areas, you want to cut that out. Little thin pieces like this, you want to just cut right off because they'll burn up and become really crispy and not the good kind of crispy. All right, that's about it. You don't have to go too crazy. I just cleaned up this high point of fat here. So now like this fat here, you kind of want to you want to take a lot of this off. Try not to cut into the meat. You just want to skim the top layer of fat right off. Like a lot, a lot of this stuff over here, this web fat, that can go. It's really just most of the hard fat that you want to get off. All right guys, first thing I did with this brisket is I took it out of the packaging, got the blood off by rinsing it off in some water, put it on my cutting board, pat it completely dry, then I trimmed the fat. Now, I got all my seasoning ready to go on, and I'll give you a little rundown of what I'm doing, and you know, if you wanna follow along, you wanna do the same exact thing, it's whatever, but really, be creative, just be creative. Uh, a lot of this recipe I got from How to Barbecue Right, he's a cool guy. He's a big old man with a big manly accent. Sorry about that. All right, so first, things first all-purpose rub you're gonna put that on both sides the fat cap and then the meat side which is the other side so first we're gonna do that all-purpose rub consists of half cup of salt quarter cup granulated garlic eighth of a cup black pepper let's do that nice dose but not too much sprinkle it on that's good and spread that out nicely don't be afraid to use your hands get the sides Flip it, sprinkle it on there, spread it out, and that's it for our first seasoning. Next step is to season both sides with a barbecue rub of your choice. I picked this up at Oktoberfest when I was there. They had a pretty good brisket, uh, so you know I'm going to try it out. The Big Belly Barbecue, and we're going to get that on both sides. Be generous with this, because this is where you'll get your nice crispy bark from. Rub it in a little bit, flip it. 
Boom, that's it. Don't forget the sides. Now we're gonna flip it and go on to our last seasoning. Okay, so the last seasoning that I have here is a nice like Montreal steak seasoning. A nice coarse seasoning. It's gonna add for some texture. And you're only doing this on the meat side. Don't put this on the fat side. This is just a little bit extra to kick it off. See that color that's coming in? That's a nice color. Try and mimic the just nice orangish red hue. Nice even layer for this. All right, then pat it in. All right, guys, so this last step is optional. Any of these steps are optional. Do what you want. Like I said, be creative, have fun with it. But what I've decided to do on this specific brisket is to add an injection to it. Some people don't like to inject, some people do. Me, I do what I want. Today, I want to inject it. The last brisket I had, I didn't inject. It was more of a mild flavor. This flavor I'm going for on this brisket, I want it to pop. So let me show you what we got. What our injection consists of, a nice teaspoon of some beef broth, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, tablespoon of soy sauce, and then you can pretty much put in a teaspoon of something that you want that you think is just gonna make it pop. I went with some A1 sauce, which is pretty much Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce, but like I said, I want a nice consistent flavor and I just want it to blow your freaking socks off when you taste it, so that's what we got we're gonna throw it in the injector put it in a couple of these thicker areas make a pocket and then uh, then we're gonna let this baby sit and soak up that dry rub as it should so somehow my injector got cracked I don't know who did that but let's just uh, get this baby in there make a nice pocket give it a little squirt nice pocket give it a little squirt nice pocket give it a little squirt and that's it for the seasoning process. I'm gonna wrap this and just let it sit for uh, you know a couple hours and we'll get back to it, throw it on the smoker, and then in no time we'll be munching on that meat. All right guys, so I just finished wrapping up the brisket. I got it in the fridge. Uh, definitely it's important to have a nice tight wrap on that because you don't want any other elements getting to it. Just let it soak in its own glory. I'm gonna go to work now. Had a late start, it's 11.30. The rain kind of put us off. We're gonna be doing a floor today and uh, it's not worth trying to cut the floor outside in the rain, bringing in your wet feet into the house. Now that it stopped raining though, why not? Why why not go get that done see ya had a good day of work sorry I didn't film any of it but you're probably happy about that if, it, if it's boring I don't know is it boring tell me um I tried to get some stuff for my mini bike just now and I couldn't find it at any of the hardware stores I went to that's what McDonald's is for so pick me up mm. about to go home right now and what was I gonna do again I'm about to go home right now and throw on my brisket five o'clock now Maybe it'll be done by 11 or 12. Come on! That sucks. That really sucks. Yeah. Also, here's something positive. I ordered my belt for my torque converter. That's going to be coming uh, in the next week or so. Why things have to go so slow? Uh, anybody who's watching this video right now, it's probably only like one or two people. Go ahead and put in the comments if you think like, time-lapse stuff of me working is like boring or what I guess uh, like tomorrow I'm gonna be putting it in a floor pergo floor that'd be nice I think to get a little bit of time-lapse on a little explanation of what I'm doing not a long time lapse just like real short just a couple seconds I've learned my lessons right today I put in a few chandeliers and then I swung from the chandeliers no I didn't I didn't do that but it's a song. Y'all know it. Let's see, what else though? What's new and exciting in my life? Hmm, hmm, I don't know. Uh, I gotta put a vlog up for today. I didn't do that yet. Oh man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> that means I'm not gonna be able to have any fun tonight. I'm just gonna have to edit my freaking butt off. Ugh, vlog life. Ugh. I'm so bummed about that bolt. I needed a bolt for my crankshaft. First off, I can't find any information on it and figure out what size bolt I need. So I'm about to just go to the next freaking quality hardware store I can find tomorrow and just get the three sizes that I think it might be. All right. I'll see you guys at home. You guys gotta check out my sick new editing setup. I got my TV hooked up to the computer. That means I can have pretty much two monitors. Therefore, I have two computers. Ready? So you got Final Cut Pro, then you got the TV. What? There's nothing up there. Let me go ahead and just put something up there. 
What? What? Wait, what? How did I do that? Now we got the big screen editing. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're editing on a TV. So my chimney starter looks like it's just about ready. I'm gonna get these coals on there. Oh yeah, that's some beautiful red hot mamacitas. So we put the meat in, now we're gonna put our wood chips in the bottom here. Nice little handful. Get as many in there as you can. I know that looked like a lot of wood chips, but trust me, I barely got any of them inside the actual charcoal area. I'm gonna wait for this thing to get up to temperature around 250 and just maintain it for the next six, eight, ten hours, who knows. That's life. That's life when you are a smoker.